Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Uh, we're doing something different this episode. So previously what we had been doing, uh, mostly to just save time, was record live while we play. Uh, this go round though, we're going to try recording the game content and then adding the commentary afterwards. So. It takes more time and effort on my part, but I think it will help with the audio quality. So we shall see. Uh, but anyway, uh, all right, let's get our day started here. Robin wants us to build a well. It's 75 stone and 1,000 gold. I like to build it up by uh, the doggies location because eventually we won't really need to water crops on the farm or in the field because we will have sprinklers to do that for us. Uh, so there will be basically one day each season where we need to water, and that's the day that we plant. Um, but in any case, uh, what's on the to-do list today? So we have a gold daffodil down there that we're going to take to Haley, hopefully. Um, we are going to try and get to the community center and drop off the items for the spring foraging bundle. So... That will uh, get us a reward and unlock a couple other rooms in the community center. So that's our first step towards completing that process. After that, uh, we've got some geodes to take to Clint, glass shards that we will drop off at the museum. Then we might do some usual mining, fishing, foraging type stuff. Um, wouldn't mind doing a little bit more general cleanup around the farm. Uh, Want to kind of start clearing out some more trees. Uh, the, the objective in terms of like what we want to clear out, we want to start on the eastern side of the farm for now. Uh, and we will eventually hopefully plant a bunch of trees that we will then put uh, tappers in and those tappers will yield us maple syrup pine tar and oak resin um, but that's going to take a while because they take like a month well, well they grow randomly which is weird so those three trees grow randomly. The fruit trees if you buy the saplings and plant take exactly one month to grow um, so we'll talk more about that in a bit so you see I got the stuff for the community center for the spring foraging bundle we got a horseradish a leek a dandelion and a daffodil so I think we're ready to go here uh, but I was actually gonna say in terms of thinking about the fruit trees usually I would get the mushroom cave instead of so you have a choice of mushrooms or fruit in the little cave on your farm. I almost always take mushrooms. Actually, I have always taken mushrooms because they are more predictable. And generally speaking, from what I understand, they are more uh, profitable. However, if we want to complete the uh, community center in year one, it will be much easier to do so if we take the fruit because those the spring fruits in particular are hard to come by because you pretty much have to you well you have to buy it from the traveling cart because you can you can't grow a tree fast enough to yield any um any fruit in the first season so we might do that um i'm kind of debating whether it's really that big of a deal so if there's anybody out there that cares, please drop a comment in the comment section about that. Speaking of the comment section, uh, on the, I think, second episode, um, I asked a trivia question. I will come back to that in a second. So what you saw me just do there was complete the, the foraging bundle. And our reward for that is two things. We get spring seeds, uh, 30 of them, and then it unlocks the pantry and the fish tank so you'll see some of the items in said rooms here as i kind of click through but in episode two we asked the trivia question which was if you're in detroit michigan and you travel due south and you go across the river what city do you enter upon crossing that river 
So you're in Michigan and you go south, and the answer is Windsor, Ontario. So it's unusual to think that if you are in a city in the United States and travel south, you end up in Canada. But that is the case here as Ontario on its western tip slips way out towards, uh, it's not, I don't think it's Lake Michigan. It's one of those great lakes and uh, slips kind of below, well not kind of below, it slips below Detroit geographically. So, interesting fact there. And if you got the question right, you win nothing except pride. So good for you. Pat yourself on the back. Um, again, here we're kind of looking at some of the things that we need for some of these bundles. We've got a lot of these already, which is kind of good. But if you don't have all of them, it's kind of pointless to put any of them in here. Except for just kind of checking boxes. Um, but anywho, so we're done there. And now we are going ahead southward toward the uh, blacksmith and the museum. Uh, other agenda items on the day, I think I talked about this already, are going to be possibly doing some mining, fishing, cleaning up around the farm, etc. Um, but we'll get to that when we have a chance. First things first. Ooh, we got some copper out of the trash, which is cool. I don't know why anybody would throw copper in the trash when you would use it at the establishment right next to where you threw it out. There's more copper. Ten coal. That's not bad. Um, and more copper. So coal is, you know, one of those things where it's real easy to not get super excited about it. Um, oh, I'm showing you here. We've got a couple of tools that we could hypothetically think about upgrading in the near future. I think the pickaxe is the one that we will elect to do first. Because we're going to get close to uh, the next level in the mines. And that's when, if you have the upgraded pickaxe, it saves you a bunch of energy down there. So, um, I think that'll be the first one we do. So now we dropped off our broken glass, which I'm not sure why is museum worthy. Uh, now we got to go back to Clint's here and pop open this other geode that we just came across and of course it's something that we got to take back to the museum which I'm not going to complain about it's good it knocks that off the list we've got the thing that looks like old poo and we're dropping it off and it is called mudstone I believe and we got a reward all right what did we get melon seeds so we can't plant those now those are a summer crop but it's good to have them and that's sort of an indication that we are hypothetically ahead of schedule in terms of dropping stuff off at the community or at the museum because you know they're giving you something that you can't use yet so anyway why is this running so choppy or is it just because I'm re-watching this later all right, so now we're going to drop off our dandelion for Haley, and she's excited to have it. And now she says that this town sucks, and she buys her clothes online because she can't get anything good around here. Now she's like, what? Uh, all right, so that's most of what we had on the to-do list for the day, right? Um, so we're going to head northward. It looks like, man, there was a dandelion over there, and I missed it. But that's what happens when you're watching what you're doing, not just everything that's going on on the screen. So, um, me and my video uh, footage right now is super choppy, and I'm wondering if it's because I'm also doing some recording. I sure hope so. I don't have the world's fastest computer, not going to lie. Y'all can probably tell that I have not invested uh, heavily in resources to put together this series for you. And don't plan on doing so. I'm doing it because I consider it sort of, uh, I guess, you could call it fun. 
it's more of a stress relieving type thing for me just kind of something to take my brain off of the more stressful aspects of everyday life so there you go all right let's get some coal and yeah let's uh let's get our stuff situated here we'll, we'll start smelting we've got some food to bring with us down into the caves I don't know how much of that we'll need because I I don't really want to spend a ton of time down here today we'll just see if maybe we can get down five or ten levels without using up too much of the time and energy and then we'll decide what to do from there so this is one of those levels where it's kind of hard to see so I like to hit an item and then run in the, or hit a rock and then run in the direction of the rock like that just happened there because sometimes you can't even see the ladder so you hit a rock you run away the ladders over there you end up hitting every other rock and then realizing uh oh there's a ladder somewhere in dark spaces that I have to go find now so anyway uh, hopefully we will discover a glow ring or uh, I can't remember. There's a ring that not only glows, but also uh, is magnetized. And it's awesome because it gives you two sweet things in one small package. Uh, so it's nice. We've got our upgraded sword, which is oh man, it's so much better when killing uh, slimes and other creatures down here it just goes by so much quicker see like that took four swings where it probably would have taken like six or seven before so i'm happy about that we'll get much better uh hardware for killing stuff later there's i think it's i actually looked this up it's level i gotta get all the way down to level 90 to uh get the what's this oh glow ring boom that is sweet um so that now you can kind of see around us there's a little bit of light shine a little light on me i don't know if that's a song but i just made it up on the fly if it's not a song it sounds like it's a song but i can't think of what song that was from so if anybody knows uh it might be like hootie and the blowfish uh anyway who cares um all right, so we are on level 24. It's 250. I can't remember how much farther I went on this uh, expedition. Okay, here's a red mushroom. And we talked about mushrooms in one of the episodes earlier where it's, um, you know, some of them are good for eating. Some of them actually take away energy. And I can't... I think I looked at this one and it actually reduces your energy by a bunch, so we don't want to eat those. Okay. Alright, let's get this ladder and get to level 25 because we're pushing 4 o'clock and if we're going to do any fishing and other stuff today, I we'll probably need to wrap this up. Okay, there's nothing down there. Yep, I think we're, uh, this might do it for the day. We'll probably smelt another copper bar. Oh, need a coal. How many copper bars will that give me total? I don't know because I took the other ones back to the farm. But we want to get a total of five. I hope I have a total of five because if we do, after dropping off the spring seeds, um, we might end up with enough cash flows to upgrade a tool, uh, which will be good now is a good day to do it because or tomorrow i mean tomorrow would be the ninth on the 13th it's kind of a wash of a day because it's the spring festival and tools take three days to upgrade so we want to have it done before the festival because i don't even think you can pick it up on the day of the festival because you can't get into town until the festival starts and then you have to go back to your farm and it's like midnight by the time you get home. So if we don't get it upgraded and picked up before the festival, we can't get it until the 14th. So it would be awesome if we get enough cash uh, today to do that upgrade. I don't know because I can't remember how much the spring seeds go for. 
So fishing might be critical today in terms of what we catch because we might need all the dough we can get in order to perform that upgrade tomorrow. So, um, oh, let's see here. I th think that's most of, I mean, that's everything we can take. What am I doing here? Oh, we'll leave the sword, yeah. And that will give us some room to take. A single slime. As if that was really important. Uh, but whatever. Alright. Looks like we're heading... Yeah, we got to head back to the farm because now we got full inventory. Oh, man. There's artifacts up here. Oh, sweet. It's a book. Um, and clay. So both items that I could actually stash in my inventory. So that's a good deal. And we got another horseradish. So, that all worked out. Now, we go back to the farm. And we will empty our inventory. It's 5 o'clock. i got to turn this box green. There, look at that. Turn the box green. We put all of our spring items in there. Not the spring seeds, though. Good. Rice shoots our spring plants. And then that's all the spring stuff. Now let's go to the mining chest. Cave carrots. The mushroom, which you see there, negative 50 energy. So don't eat the red mushroom. Uh, bug meat goes in there. Rock. Clay. Uh, no, I think I have clay in the other. Uh, yeah. I think I have it in the other box. There's topaz, quartz. And that does give us five copper bars. So that is sweet. Now we just need to have enough money to be able to afford it. Um, okay, so yeah, we had cave carrots in there that don't belong. And some other things that don't belong in here. So we're going to pull them out. Why is the clam in here? Get the clam. Good job. Clam goes in the C item. And so does this garbage. Get the garbage. Come on. Don't forget the garbage. You can do it, Evan. Get the garbage. Put the spring seeds in there, you dummy. Or the mixed seeds. Okay, we put the melons in there because they're a summer crop. Now, get the other C items. There's trash and soda and glasses and, and a broken CD that you typically <clears throat> you either get out of the garbage or you catch them fishing. So I think of them as fishing items. <clears throat> and I left them in there. <sighs> Whatever, we'll get them at some point. <clears throat> Okay, now I think we are all set. The rice shoots need to go over here, as do the parsnips. And then the daffodil. I forgot to put the slime. There we go. See, we're getting it all figured out. Now we're taking some cave carrots because our plan is going to be to do just a little bit of fishing. Oh, apparently not. I thought we were going to go fishing. Because as I sit here now, I see that we only have 658 gold. So, <clears throat> I'm concerned that I'm not going to end up with enough money to do the tool upgrade. And you will find out later. So, I guess my intention now is to just cut some trees. We'll cut some trees, kind of clear out the farm. We're just trying to clean up as much as we can on this side of the farmstead. I should have gone south because that's the space that I tend to use first and ch and chop down or uh, plant more of these trees that I'm cutting down. Um, so we'll probably have that goal completed within the next week or so hopefully where we clear a stretch down the eastern edge and plant three rows of uh, oak, pine, and maple trees, respectively. So, we ate our cave carrots. That gives us a little bit more energy. We'll just cut down as much, uh, we'll cut down as many trees as we can. And that might do it for the day. I don't think there's anything else that I need to do today. So, while we are, uh, doing some of these chores... I'm not going to do trivia questions, but I am going to give you a fun fact. So prepare your mind to have it blown. Not really, but this is pretty cool. Scotland 
which, as you know, Scottish people, well, you may not know this, but you should, if you are a grown human being. Scotland is uh, a land where they talk funny. They've got funny Scottish accents. Uh, it's, that was terrible. So I'm not going to do that again, I promise. Scottish accent. But Scottish people also tend to use uh, some quirky words, we shall say. They've got a lot of different words that mean a lot of different things um, in the English language. What is happening here? Oh, I hit the uh, I hit the button that makes me talk. Whew. Okay. Um. Anywho, what was I saying? Oh, Scotland. They talk weird sometimes. In the in the Scottish language, I guess we will say. Anyway, Scotland has 421 different words for snow. And my favorite is flink drinking. All one word. Flink drinking means, in general, a light snow in Scotland. So there you have it. Your fun fact of the day. And uh, so we're pretty much out of energy. So now we're basically just cutting uh, as many of the weeds around the farm as we can. Another kind of tedious chore uh, but thankfully it doesn't take energy, it just takes time. Uh, we might be able to get every single weed remaining on the farm uh, destroyed today. That might be a little bit of a uh, lofty goal, but we will see what we can do here. Um, and I guess while we're doing this, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we'll talk about perhaps our plans for tomorrow. Um, I cut enough wood that we might have, we should have enough. Uh, we might have to cut a little bit tomorrow, but we should have enough where we can repair the bridge down by the beach. Um... It's 300 wood to repair the bridge, and that gives you access to that other little section of the beach area where there's usually some good forgeables. Uh, and it's been, you know, over a week, so I'm hoping that there's a bunch down there. We could probably get, you know, six or seven hundred bucks worth of stuff in exchange for the 300 wood. Uh, so that's on the possible to-do list, uh, depending on our cash flow. We might, did I, have we gotten up here already? Looks like we got, okay, we, yeah, I think we did all this the other day. Uh, if we have enough cash flow, we will try to upgrade uh, our pickaxe. I think our pickaxe. If it's going to rain tomorrow, I can't remember if it's going to rain. I don't think it is. Uh, upgrading your watering can is um, something that you want to do on a day where it's supposed to rain the next day. Um, now... I am of the school of thought that says upgrading your what is it? I'm trapped. Uh, okay, um, upgrading your watering can can be a little bit pointless because we're going to buy um, well not pointless but not as valuable as say other tool upgrades because we're going to put in some sprinklers that are going to do all the work that the watering can can do. Uh, now, but still, there's value in upgrading the watering can um, because there are certain days that you need to water. Like the first day of the season when you plant, your your, your uh, crops don't get watered by the, the sprinkler because they only water crops that are there when the day starts. <clears throat> and so what we'll ultimately end up doing is upgrade the watering can so that on those days it's easier. But I'm not too concerned about that yet. I would rather upgrade my pickaxe and my axe um, to make, and even the hoe. Uh, but anyway, we'll come up with a, an overall plan there. I think it's probably going to be the pickaxe, though. But we got to have enough cash to do it. And I, like I said, I can't remember how much you get for the spring seeds. I hope it's a bunch. 
because we're going to need uh, 2,000 bucks to do that upgrade. So, um, I don't think we're going to get there, but we might get close. We shall see. So, um, do, 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 do. all right, so we leveled up our mining. Did I put the spring seeds in the bin? I did. 1050 not enough and that's pretty good gold though for what you're putting in there so we don't have enough to do the upgrade yet uh, so it'll be tomorrow and I so the day you drop it off counts and that would be I guess the 9th so if I drop or the 10th if we drop it off tomorrow 10th counts as one day then 11th and 12th so that would work uh, but we have to get at least 292 gold in that bin today so that we can do that upgrade tomorrow and pick up the pickaxe before the festival. So, uh, today, this day, the 9th, is a Tuesday. And probably not a whole lot going on today. There's nothing on the calendar in terms of birthdays. Um, there is nothing on the calendar in terms of events or other weird things to keep in mind uh, at this stage in the game. So, this is going to be a pretty simple day. We're going to water. We should go to the mines, although I don't remember if I did that or if I went fishing because I didn't go fishing yesterday. Where'd you, do, where'd you go, dog? There you are. Morning, Cooper. Get you some water. And now we got to water the... Um, what am I doing? Oh, I have my scythe. I was gonna, oh, yeah. Okay, so our... our uh, Rice shoots are done. That might be, I don't know how much those are worth, but that might be enough to get us uh, that roughly 300 bucks that we need. So that's good. Um, so we finish watering, and then we will make a plan for the day here. I th if I recall correctly, I go fishing. We'll find out. So we don't need a watering can anymore. And plant more rice shoots. We'll keep two of those. I always like to say, like I said earlier, I always like to keep two of everything. Because uh, sometimes you need one for quests. I'm pretty sure rice doesn't fall into that category, but whatever. Um, but, you know, also for recipes later, if I ever decide to whip something up. It's good to have it laying around uh, for that stage in the game. So, all right, rice shoots planted. Um, our pickaxe is still in the, uh, the bin here. So it looks like we're going fishing. Yep, uh, we got a geo too. We can take down the clints and get that cracked. Uh, there's a daffodil up there. Let's get it. <clears throat> And, oh, it's a gold one. Do I have, uh, how many gifts, why am I going back? How many gifts have I given Haley today, or this week? Why am I going down here? I might be going down here to do the forging on the uh, south side. And then swing by Clint's to crack the geode. And then I generally like to fish up north by the uh, cave, by the mines, because um, that's where the chubs are. And they're good eatings, lots of energy in the chubs. Chub is a funny word. It brings to mind unusual things. I gotta stop thinking about that word. All right, so you got some spring onions too. Um, Let's see here. Whew, okay, so we are good foraging down here. We'll quick, uh, okay, we'll swing out to the left here. There's a da uh, daff dandelion. Yeah, I always get those two confused, daffodils and dandelions. Um, there's another one. So, not a bad haul for foraging. Um... <clears throat> And please tell me I don't go back to the farm and drop those things off. Okay, good. We're going into town. 
We'll stop at Marnie's and say hi. Or we won't. There. Oh, because there she is. She's over there. We want to befriend Marnie. In general, you want to befriend, befriend everybody in town. Uh, so it's always good to stop and chat when you have a second. Because it opens up cutscenes and things like that. And sometimes they give you gifts. Sometimes they just become not assholes. In the case of, uh, you know, like Shane, for example. George. Uh, so, alright, we talked to Haley. Gave her another daffodil. And that should do it for gifts for her this week. Uh, I feel like she's got a birthday in the spring. Let me research here. Bear with me. There's another day after deal. Uh, villagers. Haley. Where is your birthday? Why doesn't it come on, just show me her dang birthday? Kidding. Spring 14. So that's right around the corner. That's good. Alright, um. So. Let's, uh, let's see what we get from the geode. Uh, don't. Haven't we already donated that? I can't remember. I think if you hover over it. Okay, so it already has a description, and I think that means. Um. <clears throat> that you've already donated it. Now, at this point when, when I was playing, I did not know the answer to that, so I went back to the museum to make sure I remember this now. But yeah, so like there it is. So we already have it. That means we don't get to drop it off again because it's be, it would be silly to have two of the same thing on exhibit at a museum. All right, <clears throat> what else do we need to do today? Did we bring the wood? We didn't bring the wood to fix the bridge. We did not. We might not have enough anyway, so it's all good. There's Elliot. Hey, Elliot. Elliot is kind of a, a strange dude, but yeah, there see is some uh, forgeable goods over there already, just teasing me on the other side of the bridge that apparently nobody in town had the you know, uh, motivation to fix, which should be quite simple, because um, it's not like it's a really deep body of water or wide body of water. You could probably just throw a big rock in the middle of it. Oops. Talked to Granny and then out of habit opened up the garbage, uh, but we're not good at friends anyway, so losing friendship points at this stage, probably not a big deal. Maru wants a dandelion, and we have a dandelion on our person at the moment, and she might be here at the... Yeah, she's there. She, she's at work, so we just gotta go talk to her and drop this off. How do I... Can you get out of the way? Okay, you let him by. Can I get... There. Yep. And now Willie's in the way. Okay. So, what's up, Maru? How you doing? Oh, uh, you want a dandelion? I don't know why anybody would want a dandelion. Okay. They are... They wreak havoc on yards. Because they spread their little seeds everywhere anytime the wind blows. And they grow like crazy. So, if there are any homeowners out there that have a yard... You know what I'm talking about. Dandelions are the worst. So, I don't know if dandelions, though, are completely regional. Like, you know, in super hot climates, like Arizona, I consider hot and dry. I wonder if there are lots of dandelions out there. Anybody from Arizona listening, if you can give us a, an indication as to whether dandelions are prevalent in your neck of the woods uh that would be another little fun factoid see we're all here to learn we're all here to just become uh, not only one with stardew valley but just better people in general it's always good to be learning 
Okay, now we can go fishing. And, oh, there are bubbles way over there on the other side of the, the lake up here. Now, I don't think I'm going to try and get over to them. I don't think I can get to them from that little outcropping there. Looks like it's too far away. Uh, but I usually fish up there anyway, so maybe after this cast, we'll, we'll head up there. Why did it not catch? What the heck? Why? Uh, I wonder if that was... Um... So I I pulled in that cast pretty quickly after it gave me the little you know alert that I had a bite. So I'm wondering if that meant that that was the one of the legendary fish that you can't catch with the crappy rod. Like you have to have the upgraded rod to catch certain fish, or have a certain skill level, um, or both. I can't remember. But it not catching anything there might have been its way of telling me you can't catch me so uh, we're not gonna spend a ton of time fishing because I know it gets monotonous man a iridium quality bass a largemouth bass is good for mm -hmm. almost a hundred energy and some good cash flow uh, and we're already up to 1803 on our cash. Uh, so we should get to <clears throat> well over that $2,000 mark tonight. So that's good. That means tomorrow we have got to go and start that upgrade. Um, and it'll be the pickaxe, which I somewhat regret not spending more time in the mines yesterday for that reason. Because now we'll have a few days where we won't be able to go to the mines. But <clears throat> it's okay. You know, we are, I think we're at level 20 or 25. I think it's level 40 that gets you to the next level, which is where, our, like, the iron is. And it's the cold zone where the rocks are harder to break. So having that pickaxe upgraded will be a big uh, bonus for us. So... All right, it's 5.30. We didn't do a ton of fishing, um, but maybe we can get back, and we still have some energy. There's a leak. That helps, because I think that'll give us enough to complete another um, recipe for the wild seeds, the wild spring seeds or whatever. Uh, so... We can do that, drop those in the bin, and that'll give us even more cash. But do I remember to do that here? That's the question. Stick those up there. Uh, I don't remember if I do that or not. So the spring onions we're going to start saving some of because we want to have the food source. And I am too stupid to have realized that I could craft another uh, recipe there. And I think that's like 350 bucks that you get for that. But not a huge deal. Let's put all those in there. Now we got to decide what we want to sell. We're going to sell the largemouth bass. We'll keep the other largemouth bass. And I think that's it. Nothing else. I should keep the chubs because they're good food sources. Um, and I have one or less of everything else so why am I still sitting here looking at this let's move oh yeah there's the other uh, I've got a bunch of spring onions so we'll put half in there and now sell all this stuff and that will definitely get us over the um, over the the two thousand dollar mark, we should be at like twenty five hundred. Honestly, that's a pretty good day of dropping stuff off. So, all right, we got some of our tools for uh, cleanup around the farm. We still have some decent energy. It's six twenty. I again screw up and go west instead of south. And we're gonna cut a bunch of trees, and this will give us. Uh, I believe, I think we end the day at 
close to 300 wood close enough where when we start the day tomorrow as part of our initial morning tr whoa look out cooper sorry bud chop that tree down and it pretty much landed on you so dog ownership not our strong suit at the moment so thankfully it's uh it's just a game and when it falls over it can't really hurt him so here we go another tree going down and here comes cooper right into the line of fire boom but he's unharmed he's a tough little doggy so <clears throat> Uh, all right, we're getting low on energy. We brought those spring onions, though, and I believe we did so so that we could eat them and cut down some more trees. So that's the plan. Um, and that'll do it uh, pretty much for this episode. After we cut these trees, we'll uh, kind of get organized for tomorrow. And like we said, plans for the next episode are repair the bridge, upgrade a tool, um, and that will leave us without a pickaxe. So the remainder of uh, the day is going to be spent doing more cleanup around the farm and possibly some fishing. But not so much to make money, but more to get the fish fishes uh, that we have not caught yet and or need for the community center um, that we can catch in the spring. Which I think includes the eel, the smallmouth bass, and I don't remember if we caught a sunfish yet. I'm pretty sure we don't have a sunfish stored in our chest, and we do need one for the community center. So that's on the list to achieve. Um, but anywho, that I think is about all I have to say for the day. We'll finish this tree right here. And that might do it for our energy. How are we doing here? 13 energy. So we got enough to chop down this stump. Let's, uh, come on, go to bed. There you go. <clears throat> All right. So that's it for this episode, y'all. The rest of uh, what you're going to see here, if you want to tune out, is just uh, some final organization for tomorrow. And then that will do it for for the episode so appreciate you watching um please 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 drop a like hit the subscribe button and that will get you on the list to get some more uh, updates whenever i put up new content and comment below we like comments we like uh some chatter on the uh on the page let's keep it clean family friendly um and yeah you know the drill so that's it i think we are ready to wrap this day we'll put the rusty spur over here to uh remind us to go to the museum and let's go to bed so again thanks for watching drop a like hit that subscribe button and we will see you all next time